And uh, we got our usual Monday show here today, but we've got a special guest, Dave. I'm going to throw it to you for this big intro. Well, it's Nick Hausman from uh, Wrestling Inc., and uh, I just wanted to talk to him um, because uh, I guess we should... We, I, the subject that I avoided um, on the show on uh, Sunday, which is uh, essentially... Um, I want to hear what you have to say as far as the AEW investigation and your thoughts and uh, where everything stands. Yeah. I, 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 you, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm fine. Um, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, no I, I, I thank you guys, guys first so much for having, for having me on here. On here. Um, um, you know, you know I, 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 I know what I've heard again from Punk's camp, which is what I put out last week. Uh, apparently, based off of what, what you've been reporting, Dave, it sounds like there's a lot of people that uh, disagree with that. Uh, of course, I initially put out in that report that Lucy, uh, Ace Steel's wife, had not been spoken to. Uh, uh, it sounds as if you confirmed that. I had heard that. I had heard that um, you, when, when Ace was fired, that was one of the things I had heard, yeah, is that, that okay. she was never spoken to. Yeah, So, or she was never spoken to, right? Right, right. She was never spoken to for the investigation, yeah. Yeah. Right. And so it sounds like even until I get I'm I, I don't know if this investigation is over or n very nearly over or whatever, but it's I believe it's I believe it's over. I, that's what that was the impression I had was that the investigation's over. And that's but I mean, as far as like what the investigation showed, I don't think we will ever know that, you know, um, I don't think we're ever going to I don't think we will ever hear anything from AEW on this subject. I mean, maybe in. I, I don't know. Maybe in years we might, we might, but I don't. I don't expect ever to. Just just from uh, you know the fact that uh, you know, I mean we haven't. I mean we haven't heard. We haven't even heard. AEW's never announced. You know that that Steel was gone. They never announced any suspensions. They never said anything, and they will never say anything on this because of um, they just won't. I mean, there's you know I I think you know, potential legal action or whatever the reason is, but um, there's subjects Tony Khan doesn't talk about, and, and this is for sure going to be one of them. Well, and, and the thing is, so when I, uh, again, going kind of cross, <laughs> comparing notes here, Dave, uh, like, I, I, I'm i under the impression there's no litigation against Punk in this moment. So unless, uh, I'm under the same impression, yes. So, yeah, do, okay, I don't know, though, I didn't find out so insofar as it do, is it going the other way. Is there something where maybe now there's litigation on Punk's it, side? As going far as as far as I know, there isn't. Okay. But um, that doesn't mean that there won't be. And I, I suppose it's possible on the other side too. But I have not heard that. I mean that you know so much of this stuff. I mean the, the key to, to to this is so much of the stuff um, has not come out, and I don't know that it will i know that there's certain things that people want to come out that haven't come out right because um the you know everyone is banned essentially everyone is banned from talking that that is uh involved you know i'm everyone from the aw side ever you know there were no charges pressed so there's no police report um there was a security guard there who was involved i know that or, or at least one because i remember i remember him running there yeah he ran out of the room yeah we all he saw ran, him he, the did, yeah. he ran he ran right past the room i thought that like i think i mentioned this before i thought that there was like uh you know some drunk fans fighting and we saw this security guard running and it was like it was freaking wrestlers fighting so yeah yeah, yeah and, and and you know as far as just kind of more information coming out i mean i would i I don't know if Judy would want to talk. I mean, the way you phrased it in, in, your, in your reporting sounded like it was an open question if she may at some point do that. You know, I, I don't I don't I don't know either. I know that that uh, a steel Chris wants just wants this thing to be behind him, you know, um, just because I mean, I think I think put it this way. I think almost everyone, if, if not everyone, wants to be behind them because every one of them um Every one of them, you know, is getting, uh, you know, very negative reactions. And some of them, you know, believe that they shouldn't. But um, everyone is. And, and very, very negative reactions. Yeah. Uh, so, I, I, so I wholeheartedly, yeah, I agree with that sentiment as well. Yeah. I, and that's the thing is, so like, you, just, you know, again, as we're comparing notes here, as this whole thing wraps up, from your perspective, it sounds like the investigation is over. Decisions have been made. Punk is... Is is he Pand is he uh, Pandora's punk? Is he both or Schro Schrodinger's punk? Is he both in and out of AEW at the same time? Like what is what do you get the vibe that his status is? I mean, again, I I got as much as I got, but I didn't quite get into the realm of, 
you know, is this person definitively with or without this per this with company at the moment, you know? Um, at the moment, I presume that, um, I mean, I don't know. I mean, the last I heard was a week ago. And at that moment, he was negotiating something. But where that transpires, I mean, there was no deal or anything like that. I don't expect him back. Um, I mean, you know, again, like because he's injured, which I always thought was like kind of a blessing in disguise, perhaps in six months, you know, but I, I, I will say this. I, I had some interaction with somebody who was not one of the people who was, um, you know, directly talked about, but was there for pretty much all of it. Got um, it. And they, you know, the way they were talking um, the and, you know, their their belief was that uh, it, 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 it they, there can't be a re reconciliation. I mean, you know, I've seen more, but it was it, it was a pretty adamant. I know there's a lot of people pretty adamant on on it. So, but who knows? It's at the end of the day, I mean, it's still up in the air, I suppose. So, when you say, because again, I'm kind of parsing through bits and pieces of what I've read from your reporting as well. There was like a, a he got voted off the island, so to speak. I think <laughs> somebody, somebody, somebody kind of made that remark. Yeah, yeah, voted off the island type of thing. Yeah, yeah I yeah. and I'm a huge Survivor fan. You know, drop your buff, whatever. But um, you know, what I'm interested in is who's who's casting these votes then in this situation. Do the, <laughs> EV, do the EVPs have more? I mean. Seriously, because I wonder, like, as an EVP. I, oh, oh, okay, as far as, as far as the people who, who I heard from, the EVPs aren't even part of that, because I have not even heard a word from, from yeah, okay. them. Yeah, it's, it's, it's um, you know, some, I mean, I guess it's like the people who are, um, how would I say it, you know, other key people in the company, but, but the, I don't, I mean, I would presume that the EP, EVPs would not want him, but I have not been... I have not been told that because I've heard like literally, I mean, I, I can't say nothing. I mean, because what I've heard from him is we can't talk. <laughs> and when the investigation was over, it was we still can't talk. So that's what I've heard. Yeah, no, same. Very much on my end, too. And that's the thing. It's like I'm over here in Chicago land and I have access to the to pool of people that I have around, which in this situation, you know, you like, you know, like I covered the trial my whole life has been punk and cabana for almost <laughs> Over a decade now, so yeah. you know, uh, I just I, I know a lot I know a lot about what what is being said in, in in our space here right now, and and truthfully, like for the fans listening, I'm glad we finally got together, Dave, with Brian here too, just so we can kind of figure out what all we know here that's on the table. You know, <laughs> that's, that's why that's why I wanted you on the show is to kind of like so so I mean from from your perspective, I right. mean like as far as oh, I mean what what's the key stuff that that you have heard or that you know from that side so to speak if it is if it is that side i mean it's funny because that's actually the only side i've heard from too but yeah. um but it, but again it's um you know i mean there's 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 a lot of unanswered questions and there's a I, lot of there's a, yeah i'll say this dave and and i hate to cut you off but but i i will say this i i really thought he'd come i thought everybody was going to come back you know, wrestlers fight and stupid stuff happens, but you're all making yeah, yeah, money. yeah. You're right, yeah. But and you're all making millions of dollars, though, right? And like millions of dollars, yes. I mean, you're making millions of dollars to go millions out and live of dollars, your... and 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 it's a very key time for the company. I mean, the thing is, I mean, Punk's injured, so you know, like as far as company ratings and things like that, he would not be able to help the ratings for months anyway. But well, you know, right? But 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 this is a. You know, again, when we're talking the story and everything like this, it's a long term story. It's not something that we have to get ratings next Wednesday. I mean, like, yeah, you know, it's good and all, but the key the key to this company is is, you know, slow growth, which is you know, if you can still do that at this point. Well, we should we should ask Nick. I mean, there is nothing official right now on CM Punk. I mean, there's something official on the EVPs because they were back on Wednesday. But Punk being injured, I mean, there's been nothing official on his status. And what do you believe at this point? I mean, do you think that we will ever see him back in AEW? In AEW, no. I I I think that ship has, and Dave, I, correct me if you if you think I'm wrong, but it sounds to me, even the way this conversation started, it started more as a post mortem <laughs> as any than anything. It sounds like yeah. Well, I, I figured I was kind of writing a post mortem last week, you know, because it was kind of like he's probably going to be gone, and it was kind of you know, again, as, as a fan, just as a pure fan, it was it was a sad thing because he was, um, you know, I mean, he, his return his return was. Uh, 
you know, perhaps one of the greatest moments in um, not just AEW history, but in, in the last, you know, 10 years of wrestling that 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 and maybe longer. I mean, I just remember the, the first night and it's kind of like you watch that first night and you just go like, God damn, what happened in the last year, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, a hundred percent. And, you know, and from again, like I know different people that have known Punk at various points in his career, you know, at this point, uh, knowing as many people in the Chicagoland area. And when I ask her, I'm, you know, that question, like, you know, what? Because I if I was him, I'd take the big bag of money from WWE, run a year two there, maybe get a rumble win, maybe mania, you know, feud with Hunter a little bit. Cody's there. You can probably mess around with him make eight mil, 10, whatever, walk away. But he's already got a ton of money. The guy does not drink. The guy does not do drugs. I don't, I don't, I, I think wheat tea might be his vice. So, I mean, sacks of cash. Cash does not seem to be an issue for this guy. He's yeah. got inroads in Hollywood going on right now. Uh, Stephen Amell certainly shining him up with, with what they're trying to do over on heels right now. Uh, I have a lot of people that have known punk that say to me, dude, this guy's, this guy's never going to wrestle again, you know. It, you know, look, I mean, I mean, one of the look, things also. Well, I, I would, I would never say never wrestle again because I have heard so many guys say never wrestle again, and with the exception of like Jack Briscoe, I don't think anyone has ever done that. But I mean, the idea of like never go full time on the road, and all. But you know, the other thing too is just, you know, you, you, you know, I mean, the last, the last couple of times he's wrestled, he's gotten hurt, um, yeah. but. You know, injuries heal too, though. I mean, there've been people who've had, who had who've had career-ending injuries that come back years later and and can still wrestle. So, you well, know. and you think about the if 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 this is it if this let's say it was it for him, let's say he doesn't ever wrestle again. I mean, does it? Can you go out on a higher note than in your hometown in the main event winning the world championship, right? But that's and, not what people are gonna. They're, they're gonna think he went out in that press conference. You know what well, I mean? Because yeah, the match. But, you know, but, the, he, the, but, he, but Dave, didn't he seem pretty gleeful doing that press conference too? Like it's it's not like. Yes, he did. He did. He did seem happy. He seemed like he. Um, you know, I mean, he 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 definitely wanted to do it. It was not something that kind of was. Uh, you know, he just got started and he couldn't stop himself. I mean, this I. I think it was pretty clear. I mean, it was very clear when he came that he had, um, you know, he had. He a, had a lot that he wanted to get off his chest, and it had, appeared he, that he got it off his chest, and then he seemed to leave in a fairly decent mood, if I recall actually, correctly. Actually, he did leave in a he pretty decent mood. He waved and he smiled and he said, regardless of what you might think, I'm actually a really nice guy. Yeah. And he smiled and left. Yeah. I mean, that the, the one thing about that is, is, is the stories of, like, you know, like, why didn't why did they confront him when he was in such a bad mood? And it's like he wasn't in that bad of a mood. I mean, he was. You know, I mean, I mean, again, like what? You know, I mean, he he said like you know, come see me. I mean, he did say that. You know, if you have any problems, come see it. Come see me. You know, the, there's the, the doors. I don't know if he said the doors were open, but he did say come see me. Well, and that's why I want to hear from Judy. If she can talk, call me Judy. You know, like <laughs> I, I want to. I want to. I, I think we all want to know. From somebody that watched this thing firsthand, what happened here? Because, yeah, this guy left the room, and I even – we kind of had a little – say we said some words as he left because, you know, again, I think that Punk walked into that scrum with a lot of misassumptions with me, obviously. I think, um, he had, it, I think that, was, that was a thing that, like, with hindsight with me was um, – um, you know, the big misassumption because of uh, him thinking, you know, the, the people who spread the story, not recognizing that 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 I, I can't say like where it happened and with the guys, but with the guys, what I know with the guys, as far as it was a natural reaction because the guy is gone from the day punk came. The feeling was is what happens to Cabana. And I remember people. I mean, I was asked. I mean, I would say 50, 50 times, what's going to happen with Cabana? And my thought was, it's professional wrestling. I know guys that, that don't like each other that share dressing rooms. I, I didn't even think it was an issue. I mean, it, it did turn into a giant issue. I, and, here's the thing. I, I always knew there was going to be something because it was too weird here, man. On the streets, it was weird, right? Like, yeah. everybody was talking about these two. I mean, well, I mean look, so, 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 weird. To ask you, to ask you, you know. something really quick. So... I mean, I I had talked to Cabana 
a, a you know, like in in very brief, and it was just sort of something like you blow up. Like it didn't seem like it wasn't like it was any long conversation or anything. It was just sort of like yeah, oh, yeah, whatever. You know, I mean, it didn't seem like there was this hatred. It was like I mean, certainly they didn't get along, but I mean, look, I mean, uh, lots of guys don't get along. I I didn't. I never sensed. I knew that there was a split, but I just didn't sense that it would be something that. You would have to like they could not share a dressing room split, but but so, you probably you may know better than me on this. You know, well, I well here's where I'm kind of at the crossroads on this because like I you know I've seen like the Cabana may have been telling people that you know Punk's coming in. I don't think this is going to be good for me, right? Well, but, but if I was Cabana, I would say the same thing though. Well, but did, I, mean, but I would Cab- think that but, too. Did Cabana remove him? Did, but did Cabana have himself removed from the situation? Or did Punk have Cabana removed from the situation? Or was this something Tony Khan did on his own expecting a situation? Because, you know. T- the, Tony what, Khan says he did it. That is that is what Tony yeah. Khan says. And so that is the best that I can say right now. I don't know that everyone believes that. Right. I'm, yeah, which is which is which is part of the issue. But that is what he said. But when he said it, it was very late in the game. I mean, it was months after it probably should have been cleared up because it was such a issue in the dressing room. In I mean, in April it was an issue. It didn't come out until s- September, but it was an issue in April. I mean, and maybe even in March, for all I know. Uh, here's here's the, the thing is it was so in the years between the trial and. Punk coming to AEW, you know, I had started to hear rumblings about what had really caused the rift. Everyone's like the story about Cabana going backstage at Raw. That's that's red herring. That's not what it was. It's about money. They always said it was about money. They didn't know exactly. I knew it was because like at some point Punk stopped paying the bills for Cabana, but nobody right, knew right, exactly that came out, why. Yeah. Right. Well, he just went out there and just gave it all away. Right. That was the whole crux of the thing was about the the money issues coming out of the trial. Right. Yeah. So. I, I don't – again, I, I, I don't really know who didn't want to be around who here right now, you know, in that situation. Because the reason I wanted to know who voted Punk off the island was, well, was – nobody not, nobody nobody not, vote nobody voted him off the island. That was kind of a figure of speech. Well, I mean, okay, fine. But, but who, had a say, who had a say in him going because, like, there were other people I talked to there that were like – I, I like being around punk, you know. And oh, like, I know. I know we had friends there. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, th- I think when Dave says voted off the island, I mean, there's nothing official. But I mean, I think it's more a situation where if you ask certain people, like, you know, do you think he's going to come back? The answer would be like, he's not coming back. Like, there's no way that that he, you know, certain people would. I think that's what it is. And you know, being voted off the island. That was a figure of speech. Uh, yeah, I mean, that, that that would be a situation where if he were healed up and if he were ready to come back and if Tony was going to bring him back and then there was, like, an actual, uh, dude, price. we ain't doing this if he's coming back, that would be a situation down the road. This is more like talking to people now. What do right. you think is going to happen? And their impression is uh, there it's just not going to work out. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I'm just curious. You know, it's it's all. It seems like the knot is untangling itself. Hopefully for the better, right now for everybody. Uh, but it's just. I think there's just a lot of public interest in exactly how this all played out. And I know there's frustration on both sides about how. Oh, the narrative, absolutely. There's absolutely. frustrations on both sides about how the narrative is playing out right now. And oh, so, oh like, absolutely, absolutely on both sides because I think both sides. I think both sides feel the narrative is unfair to them. And and I want to say real quick too. I did this wrestle roast. Uh, podcast the other day, and I made a comparison between the Cody Box Omega situation, what's going on with Punk and uh, and Cody. Uh, I don't think I don't think that even, I don't think that that's a similarity. Really I, I, I I see some, but I think I was a little heavy handed on that one. I saw Cody call that out the other day on Twitter, and uh, you know I'll take you at your word, Cody, that 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 was not why. But I do remember. I I will say I did. I went back and looked at my notes. I know there were tensions. I don't want to say that was the the reason he left, but I do know that there were tensions at the time and well, but, I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm happy I'm I mean, happy there, 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 there's there's always there's there's always st- there were disagreements because sure. there's always going to be disagreements when you have people with different viewpoints of what wrestling is and they're, you know, working together. But I right. mean, they worked they worked together until the end. I mean, it until was until the um, end, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, until Cody, you know, whatever Cody Did wanted to, you know, I mean, Cody left because he thought it was the right thing to do for his career at that moment, and and he was right. I mean, if you look at hindsight, he was 
unfortunately, I mean, as hard as he was trying, he was struggling in AEW because of the fans. I mean, the fans are, are I don't want to like say, let's blame the fans, but if he was still getting the reactions that he was in 2019, I'm pretty sure he wasn't leaving. It was right. it was it was one of those things where he he wanted to be a baby face and every time he thought he got it and 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 he was to a lot of the fans but there were enough booing that it made it sound like he wasn't and it was just a you know something that he wasn't able to fully overcome and you know the gamble is is go somewhere else and see what would happen and i remember people going oh the wb fans are going to boom like crazy and it's like yeah they will not um, no, and i mean that that whole and 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 it was the exact opposite of course you know yeah. they, and, they, I, they, and they, i and i got to believe if you're punk you know, you got to look at what happened with Cody and not you got to take it into consideration. Right. I mean, if if the company is willing to let you come in and be you and present yourself your way and, you know, give you the respect you thought you always deserved. I mean, maybe 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 there is a template there. Maybe there's a blueprint. I'm not saying it's an exact comparison, but I see some similarities, but I don't think it was. I think I was maybe a little heavy handed. So I do. I don't apologize about that one. OK, so 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 I mean, as far as the WWE thing goes, I mean, it's it's up to him and it's up to Paul Levesque. Yeah. And and I have no idea what either of them would think. I mean, I can I mean, and I have I've wrote about like the potential ups and the potential downs and the reasons that you may not do it and the reasons that you may do it. And, um, but it, it, you know, at the end, both guys have to agree to do it. Um, or it won't happen if he doesn't need the money and he doesn't want to go there and the schedule, the schedule is much harder. Although again, you know, if you're in, in this day and age, you can, if you're a big star, you can kind of negotiate the schedule a lot easier than you could have, um, you know, 10 years ago, you know, when he was there and the schedule wasn't going to go away. And, and that schedule, you know, if, if you, you know, listen to what he has said, that schedule was killing him. It was beating his body up. He right. really did have to get out. I mean, and you know, he said that many times, um, but if it could be something different and there is no Vince McMahon, I mean, uh, who knows? I think that, I think it's a, such a logical layup. If, if for nothing else than to just put a nice cap on your career. I mean, Punk wants to show, I'm sure, and again, I'm not speaking on behalf of him or anyone in his camp, but I would have to think that part of him wants to show that I can work with people that maybe I don't necessarily get along with, right? And Hunter, wanting to do his best Vince McMahon right now, would probably like to show the same thing. And so these two guys, the yeah. you know, the Bruno and Vince of our day, uh, you know, the ability to bury that hatchet and, and show that we can work together – Maybe you can't put a dollar sign on that. I mean, I really think there's more there than just $10 million, which is great. And I'm sure it will mean a lot to everybody in the end. But I think that there's a visual there. I think there's a narrative there for both these guys right now that um, we'll see if they if they choose to go that route. Again, I have a lot of people that have said, dude, this guy did everything he wanted the last night in pro wrestling. I, I don't think he'll ever wrestle again. So there's that. I'm 50-50. It, it could go either way. Yeah. Okay. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 Audio shows at your fingertips.